Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Psychonauts Part Dry and Swansish, where we will face the horrors of this psychedelic meat circus. Let it be gin. You gotta help me save the bunny! It's right there. If he just hold still, I could catch him and hide him from my dad! He runs a butcher shop. He wants to make food out of them. Oh, that's right. That's how butchers my work. man was a butcher. It looks like your childhood memories of the circus got all mixed up with his childhood memories of his dad's butcher shop. My memories were bad enough. This is just gross. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Happy memories of the circus. With Good Cthulian that kid out of trouble. beasts. With your brains all scrambled like this, what happens to him happens to you. Oh yeah, and before soon, Shagaths will come from the sewers. They will de devour everything that we hold dear. With their psychological warfare thingy disgust stuff. So here's the first hated part of the meat circus. It's the protect oleander. And everything in... Not everything, but most of the annoyance in the meat circus is revolved not around oleander, but around the fact that it's all platforming. Uh, all fun and games you think yeah it's not gonna be there's gonna be failures and these failures will probably result in a series of tantrums uh, rage quits and uh, destruction probably even some murders but to what degree I do not know but at least we get this glorious psychedelic music and you see he will fly up we will stay down here, and he will start getting his face pounded up there, which is not at all stressful and annoying. Here's a fat lady, jump on her, perfect, thank you very much, here's a bag, made it happy, very good, don't care. Okay, so here's part two, that, that wasn't so bad, right, it's, it's not so bad right now. It will become, when the Lord Cthulhu says it is time for our true madness to begin. Trust me, it'll come. It'll come. Like flesh eating corpse bunnies weren't hardcore enough for you. And jumpsicle, floatsicle, dropsicle, and some acrobatism. Because we were born in the circus. Not born, maybe, but at least raised. Come on, that's something. Do a little timber leg turn here and keep jumping and boosh and boosh. Oh, you think he's here? No. There's more. Ne, 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 And we're over here. And we're gonna map uh, this power. And, oh, a sword thrower, you say. Come on, do it. Come on. I dare you. I double dare you. You see, that, that happens. That happened. That was considered a gross failure by my standards. But you've seen quite a few of them, so you know that... That's bound to happen. Come on, stop shooting at me. Yes, fall on your knees and accept death. Oh, now we gotta go a whole way. Huh? We can see Oli's life up up there. He's getting his face destroyed. It's all gonna be our fault, of course. We, as the gamer, will be severely punished. Get away from my bunny lover. And you see, picking figments, finding secrets is quite the pain on this level because it's all timed and, you know, there are stuff you have to think about that will destroy... Yeah, the soda. Pick the soda, Rasputin. That's why we're here. Because we are, we are slightly thirsty. Stop beating up Oleander, you stupid bunny. There we go, there we go now. Come on, Oli. You can do it. You can do it, Oli. Just pick it up. Just pick it up. Just pick it up, little bastard. Got you, Mr. Bunny. Ah, I'm glad you're happy, Oleander. At least he uh, recovers some HP when he goes to the next stage. Oh, crap. We're gonna get this one for some faster traveling here. And yeah, falling uh, doesn't kill you. Doesn't kill you at all. What does it do, you ask? It makes me fall all the way to the bottom. Uh, if unless I hit a safety net of course that will bounce me up to some degree otherwise you will hit the bottom and 
Good luck getting all the way from the bottom to the beginning uh, without Oleander getting his face destroyed in several degrees. See, I wasn't gonna catch that, so let's shoot that guy several times in the face. Just long enough for us to grab this one. And here, try to land for the love of Christ. Oh yeah. Uh, here, that figment, that's the double fine symbol. I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to get it once, it made me fall all the way to the bottom and fail the mission and die. Well, I didn't die. Oleander's face got ripped off. It was a bloody mess, I tell you. There was blood, there was gore, the, these Cthulian bunnies were starting coming out of people people's bodies. It was gross, disgusting, and horrifying. I don't want to think about it. No, 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 no. Get the bunny before the bunny gets you. Oh, I got you, Mr. Bunny. Oh, joyous glory. It seems he got to safety, and this is the part where you can explore this part. But you know, I'm not in the mood to jump down for a couple of figments, so let's move on. Hey, Oli. <laughs> Just now it's one. time for the main event! Help me! Help me! Oh my god, crazy! Oh my god! Don't, don't let him go! That bunny looked terrified. Not of death, but of Oleander. Whoa, that's deep. Here's the purse tag. Can you find the purse, perhaps? <laughs> purse, purse, perhaps. Here's the vault, the only one off this level. And it's the freaking saddest one of all. The big top. Performed by Madame Marcus on YouTube. Ahem. <clears throat> Happiness on the meadow of gladness. Here's Oleander. He has all the bunnies. Hey, bunnies. I love you all equally. But one is sad. He's so sad. He's special. And Oleander's special. So they become best friends. Best friends forever. Nothing could do them part. Not even... The shadow of the father. <coughs> Only any skin. No father. No. This bunny is mine. He is my brother in arms and I will not let you take him from me. It is not your decision, boy. You will surrender to bunny. Or you will surrender your life. But powerless to resist the powerness of his father. The bunny is surrendered reluctantly and executed for his crimes in front of young Oleander. That was the big top. Thank you very much. Applause later. I feel kind of sick. Oh, that was so traumatizing. Moving on. Come on. This is my favorite ride. You're sick, boy. Okay, so here we have a little breather, lots of figments. Do 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 here's a bag. Huh? No 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 whatever. And let's see over here is a bag as well. Grab it, make it happy. Nay 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 Oh oh yeah, right. I knew there was something else here. Oh yay, all mental, mental cobwebs, because they are so important right now. So here we are gonna go for a high speed ride along the tunnel of love or something. You can skip parts of, if, if you don't care about figments, that is, you can skip parts here. But be careful so you don't lose momentum, so you don't, so you don't fail the jumps that will ensue later. So try not to slow down too much, because, oh... You see, you can miss jumps, which will result. It will result in the loss of your speaking abilities to begin with. So let's just let's write it normally and see how it goes. Jump. The tip here is try to jump slightly too early, 
instead of too late okay here's the duffel bag tag so you don't want to miss that obviously but if you don't care about that just just go crazy bro you see we're picking up some serious speed so we gotta uh, jump a lot here you see you gotta time it perfectly or else you will be dead so here we are here's a duffel bag so now do we have the wait wait yeah there's the steamer trunk in the beginning, I didn't find the tag, and honestly, on the from, from the top of my head, from the length of my arm, and from the depth of my pocket, I don't know where that tag is right now. We can teleport back to the beginning exactly where the bag was, but you know, YOLO, right? Saving the game, please, okay, thank you. In case I wanna load later. Help! What? I don't get it. Little Oli, it's okay. Those monsters are gone now. The bunnies are safe. We're all safe. No, it's not safe. He's coming. Who's coming? My dad. Your dad? The butcher? He says little bunnies are good for nothing. Nothing but food. Here, little bunnies. Ah! Don't run, or else daddy's gonna kill ya! And some good parenting right there. Put that kid in his place immediately. Have them fear you for the rest of their lives. Right? Oh, oh. So, are you ready for some Shadow of the Colossus battles? Except slightly smaller and faster, so not at all, really. See, we're just gonna run away from him until the obvious thing happens. The obvious, hey, come here and punch me in the mouth. Uh, move. It's always like that. So, tell me, how was your day? Oh, I got hit. I should have jumped, but I didn't because, you know... I, I don't even know what you want me to seek therapy because they didn't jump I don't know stop oh right pay attention I was actually just looking away I'm like just, just doing it so but I did hit them there so that's good nice uh, butcher hooks meat hooks you got there you look very respectable I I just I just don't jump I don't know why do you care I don't think so you want me to shut up? Why? Why are you saying so mean things? I'm losing my concentration. And jump. Punch. And thus the game is completed. What was that? What was that? Oh my god. Something horrible. <laughs> On here, what have you done to our circus, Dad? Polluted, perverted. This looks like the work of mentalists. I can explain. Have you been associating with psychics, Dad? I psychics, fortune tellers. They killed your grandfather. They cursed our entire family to die in water! Yes, but... Including you, Rasputin. And me. But I'm going to live. You know why? Because I'm still an acrobat. Let's see if you are. Time to platform me. What's it going to be, Joy. son? Die in the water? That's what's going to show me what you got! So what we do have we, we, we have to climb fast and hard because oh I don't know. Yeah, skip this. You see this pool here? The water's rising and it's gonna keep rising until we die. Or until we impress our crazy father. And okay. yep. I know. Oh, 
Oh, I have to go an extra lap. I hope that doesn't freaking impede my success ratio. Yeah, his attacks doesn't do that much much damage. So. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Up here? Thank you. And jump alley -oop. And whoop. And this is where he will start bombing us severely and it will... It's not hard, it's just incredibly annoying, like an incredibly unbroken sentence, moving from topic to topic. Okay, you see, that is how you fail, and that happens a lot to people here. Oh, whoop, you can see the water is rising, doesn't really help us. And you see, he knocks us down, it's annoying. And it's the knockback, it's, as I said, it's not hard, it's just frustrating. Okay, so when he lobs the juggling things we just have to run and when he launches them like that that's when we have to jump okay this is the hard part you have to climb from these avoid the fire but the thing here is we have to double jump and then float and sometimes Rasputin will be like <laughs> no and he will just not so that's what I found the most frustrating when I last did this it was horrible and attach attach just ooh. and sometimes he's just like oh i'm gonna go into the fire mm -hmm. i'm so happy i like fire water's gonna kill me fire's gonna make me whole make us whole isaac make us whole okay this wasn't so horrible i've been practicing for days and hours <laughs> so i won't make a fool out of myself and whoop and float and next one Brilliant, brilliant, just, just relax, the, so, the hard part's over, the hard part's over, just be happy, just be happy, it's a kid's game, what's the worst that can happen? Shut up, dad, stop launching death at me, but I love you. I used to pl I used to like to play catch with you until, until you lit the freaking pins on fire, okay? Dad, just, just relax, okay, okay. Let's do it again. Let's do it again with love. Replace the fire with love. And you see the bubbles? It's meat bubbles. You like meat bubbles? Imagine blowing one of those. That has to scare you in more ways than one, I guess. Probably. Otherwise, you are probably mentally ill or something. Yeah, go away, Dad. Go away. Okay, some, uh, some regular classic meat jumps. I have no idea what happened there. And you see, we have to do this again. And that is when you escort Oleander. If you fail at, say, the fourth Oleander escort stage, back to the beginning, bro. Back to the beginning, and nobody will shed a tear for you, ever. Is that my reason why everyone probably hates the meat circus? I mean, it's a meat circus, and it's funny in that way, but I'd probably play Dead Space 3 on Hardcore again if I had the chance. And jump. You see, that's the stupid thing, because his spinamajigs does not really match the spinamajigs on the meat cleavers. You know, I can adjust for that. I can, but, you know, do I, do I have the the arse to do it? No. I just can't be arsed to do it. I probably can. And I probably should. But I'm not. Because sometimes that's... That's how you... That's how you roll, bro. You just... The arse cannot be. Uh, yes, up there. Very good, dad. And now he's gonna be launching things at us. Happy days. You know what? I'm just gonna take those three. Okay. Hard part's over. Okay, we got grabbed by water. Let me guess, I have to float all over again. You see? Do you see why everyone hates? Hates. Loathes. Detests. The meat circus. <laughs> I wanna go to a meat circus. I fucking love meat. 
different sorts of meat. I love, I love a good Romanian salami. Mm, I want it on my good sandwich. Oh yes, and some meat-stuffed Polish pyrogs. Yeah, that's sweet. Mm, pyrogs. That's like hot pockets, but doughy. And jump. And jump. Oh no, I got hit. I'm so distraught about this. Okay, so what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump, grab it, grab it. Oh, I thought he wasn't gonna grab it, so I almost threw up in my mouth. Okay, so I'm gonna edit in the snake eater music right about now. Did I? Did I edit it in? I have no idea. Maybe it's in the background as I'm talking. I don't know. I can't see into the future. Unless I play Fable 2. Hmm, that would be fun. Let's do that someday, together. So yeah, this part is gonna be slightly longer than the other ones because... Or is it? Or am I gonna cut it? I don't know, maybe I'll cut it up when I'm done with this ladder. Because, you know... Nah, let's make it one huge part. I mean, all of Dead Space 3 was just huge, long parts, right? On hard core that's how we like it oh you see we're at the end here dad I made it you cheated no I use the acrobatics you taught me don't lie to me cheetah you crystal ball readers always cheat you're no son of mine <laughs> Ollie, are you okay? Where's your dad? He's over there, talking to your dad. He did what? Uh-oh. Somebody's going to get grounded. Make that ground. Ha ha ha, chopping up our children. That's funny. Let's make fun of that. Okay, so now it's the boss fight again, except on fire. Fire means we probably won't be running up his fiery, thunderously warm swords, right? Okay, you see? He swiped and I jumped. Are you happy now, internet? Do you see? We can't, we can't do it, do it properly. So, <clears throat> we're gonna throw fire into your face. That's what you get for lighting stuff on fire. You're gonna get burned. That means burned. In stupid talk. Yeah, I lit you on fire. What you gonna do? You probably didn't even see me do it. That's how good I did it. Because that's how it works. Okay, we got some. Oh, pins. Huh. I burned you. I burned you on your Achilles heel. Oh, come on, that was flawless. That was flawless. He does a lot of damage, by the way. Oh. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, this isn't gruesome. Hope you didn't love your dad, Oli. Rasputin! I see your skull is as hard to penetrate as ever. Dad! What is your brain doing out here in this tank with this other brain? And who are all these unconscious people? What have you got me? I love his daddy so cool. He looks like mine. He's been cavorting with filthy, cheating psychics. Is that really? Is that really how I look in your mind? Man, do I hate psychics. And seeing my son happy. I don't hate psychics. I used my psychic connection with you to find you and to project myself into your mind. But how can you hate me for being psychic if you're psychic too? Son, I could never hate you. I only wanted you to be happy, Rasputin. And safe. Our family has many enemies. <laughs> A lot more hair than that. Now, son, 
We have to carefully unweave your psyche from that other brain. We don't want anything bad to happen while your mind is in this tangled state. The damage could be permanent. Unweave? Detangle? Never! I like it this way. I mean, look at how huge I am! And I think I can juggle now. <laughs> oh, the beauty of friendship. So you are the strong one here. But I'm about to give you my son. You must take care of it. Because it's everything I've got. Mega Pyro Raz. It's time for some Kaiju Fire action. <clears throat> Punch in your face. Okay, so this Mecha Uber power, it's not gonna last for too long. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna avoid him for long enough. Ooh, ooh, he's so scary. He's so scary. At least they spawn a lot of health by doing stuff, I guess. Okay, Mecha Power activate. Rasputin! Oh! And then just wail on these fools. They have been wreaking havoc on children's brains for too long. And now I'm gonna run. Okay, don't stay too long. Don't stay too long. Don't die now. That would be slightly foolish and very, very bad. You see, they're just raining HP here. I'm not a bunny, I'm a real boy, about to become a man, a pyro man. That's right, take it, take it in the faces. And now I'm gonna run. Run, run, run like a bun, bun, bun. Run, bun, 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 run, bun, bun. What do you mean? Yes, you are. You got dual wielding swords with bunny skulls on them. Just to taunt your son. You're a horrible man. How dare you? How the frack dare you, man? Okay, pyro powers. You just, you just punch. You just punch. Punch, punch, punch. Who said that? Oh, game over, man. For some reason, this cutscene is always very dark. I don't know if you can see it properly. I don't think you can. to tell you about all the messed up stuff that happened. Oh, I know a lot of it. While you were out, I poked around a bit. Tell me about this lily person. Hey! Cutscenes in suits. And so, that brings us to the end. Where, as you can clearly see, the personal demons causing my negative behavior have all been eradicated, leaving me sane once again. This is also corroborated in CAT scan number three on page 59 of your handouts. On a personal note, I would just like to reiterate how extremely, extremely sorry I am for stealing all of your brains and trying to take over the world. Mistakes have been made. But this camp is all about education. And I know I, for one, learned plenty. Thanks to that guy right there. Come on up here, Raz. We endeavor to build strong minds here, with the power to lift things, to see things, to burn things. But 
It's a special quality of your heart, not your mind, that truly makes a great psychonaut. This young man has it. We did not give it to him. He got it from someone else long before he came here. But we can give him this, to honor his mind, his courage, and his heart. Son, we do not normally ask this of someone so young, but it is obvious to us all that you are not average. Will you join us, Rasputin? Will you be a psychonaut? about this. That was the best summer of my whole entire life. Hey, the summer's not over yet. We can hang out for a couple of weeks still. My family's out on the East Coast. Where's yours? They move around a lot. Hmm. Well, you'd better go. Your dad's waiting for you. Um, well... Bye. Children, it's an emergency. There's been another kidnapping. I was here the whole time. You saw me. No, this time we know who it is, and that's what scares us. Who was kidnapped? Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts. Dad! Sir, can you teleport this many of us back to headquarters? Huh? What? Hey, hey, what are you people doing in my kitchen? Now get! Guess we're taking the jet. Don't worry about your dad, darling. We'll get him back. Yes, after all, we'll have Rasputin helping us. I'm going? Now how could we do this without our anti-kidnapping specialist? I've taught you everything I can, son. Now, you go show them. Show them all. Let's go. Why has this, this sequel not been made yet? Oh my god, tell me. Where is the Psychonauts? Super sequel please make it now here you can see the brilliant voice actors from this absolutely brilliant game i want to take this moment oh do you see there were bunnies in the training stage do you get it because oleander loves the bunnies i told you there are many small things that make this game great and unfortunately unfortunately i didn't show too many of them much of this game has its true value in just going around talking to people, looking at them through uh, clairvoyance. That's when you see the small things that are all so freaking funny. Here you can see some some more bunnies and the thorn beast. That's cute, right? Happiness. So, hope you enjoyed watching my let's play of Psychonauts. Flawed as it might have been. watching you don't know how much it means to me i'm getting so emotional right now it was beautiful it was beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead and start focusing oh party on baby uh, i'm gonna start focusing on making my youtube channel slightly more presentable g-man that's cool g-man you get it like the government man by steve bloom blum i want his autograph 
tattooed on my person. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on some other things. I'll make some, uh, I'll start making my damn diaries again that, you know, I never got around to. Here's some sensors for you, they're all a happy family bunch. Okay, so really, thank you for watching. And I will see you around later in the timeline of Earth. Hey, creative director Tim Schafer, hats off to you and all your buddies. But unfortunately, I'm gonna I'm gonna zone out now. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Shout out to Linda there. <laughs>